Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have got something brand new and exciting, something I have never tried before and oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get started. I only hope I can do it justice. So, in today's video, I am going to be using some crackle paste. <laughs> So a company called Elechem contacted me and asked if I would like to try out some of their crackle paste. Now after I had a look at it and they sent me a video on how to use it, I was obsessed and of course I said yes. It is a two part system. We have part one, part two. Part one is the base layer. Part two is the top which is the part that's going to crack and oh it's exciting. So this is a wet on wet process. You have to work pretty much straight off the bat so as soon as I've done layer one layer two goes on and I use my spray paint to top coat it and then it can take anywhere between one day and six or seven days for that crackle to appear depending on how thick you've put the crackle on the base layer is white and this can actually be colored with any color of your choice I'm going to color it with some acrylic paints now the top layer the crackle paste this is the called crackle structure paste I'm gonna open that now so we're seeing it for the first time together okay so the crackle paste comes in this color now this cannot be colored you can't add pigments to this but what you can do is actually color it after so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color my base then spray paint this the hardest decision for me really was what color do I go for you know I've got this kit <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna end up using the whole thing but I might so therefore I've got one color choice what do I go for and you guys all know I love blue and my living room is blue with some copper elements some copper extras kind of dotted around so I figured I would do a blue base a mixture of blues and the top would then be spray painted with my rust-oleum brilliant bright copper that's the plan so I chose to prime my board with acrylic paint mainly to give me a color palette so I could see where I was going. This is an unnecessary step. So the base one layer of the crackle paste is a primer in itself. So you do not have to prime your surface with anything other than the base one, if that makes any sense. I just felt like I needed to see where I wanted the colors so that I could kind of visualize how I was going to color the paste when it came to coloring the paste. And yeah, and any excuse to get a kitchen sponge out and use it to paint. <laughs> I'm using just a cheap kitchen sponge from Tesco's just to give my board a base layer and just help me visualize the next step. Paint is now dry, it is time to put on the base layer, which is the primer. We can colour it using acrylic paint or acrylic ink. I have acrylic paint, so, okay, here's the plan. I'm going to create four colours. Now, you don't want to add too much pigment. I think it's up to 20% to add to it. I guess then it might hinder it if you put way too much in. So, I'm going to empty this out into the four pots, and then I'm going to colour it with my acrylic paint to match the board so oh it's nice and thick it's like a literally like a putty that's oh it's nice okay i'm gonna put some in each cup actually i'm not gonna put too much so the base layer only needs to be a thin evenly spread coat it's the crackle paste that you can layer on thick or thin which whichever you prefer so for now I'm just gonna take out four pots of the base coat and put it in the pots. This is actually gonna leave me some. I don't really wanna use too much. Okay, that's my four pots. Now I'm gonna add the acrylic paint. Again, no more than 20%, so I'm just gonna kinda guesstimate here. just four different blues and then I'm gonna get it mixed and see what that looks like Ooh. right I've got all of base one completely 
mixed. Now they want to start in colour order so I'm going to put the first one down. I might have mixed too much here, um, you only really need a thin layer so what I've done is I've just created myself kind of like a spatula out of the PVC plastic that you would have seen in a previous video. Then I'm going to put down the colours next to each other and see, see what happens. I'm actually not going to put it all down because I feel like I might have made too much. Which is good because I've got loads left in the pot. I might actually add some black to these. Crackle paste is actually non-toxic which is really great. So there's almost no odour. I would say it smells like when you're doing DIY at home and you're filling cracks it, it smells like polyfiller. <laughs> you know other brands are available okay here goes now I need to try and work out a way to spin the board I might just be able to move my hands around it has to be quite a thin layer okay Well, this is fun so I have sped this part up for you guys because it was a long process it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get this board exactly how I wanted it kind of scraping off scraping on and yeah just using I ended up using two spatulas and it was so much fun I wanted this perfectly blended ombre of blues and no is is no I just couldn't I couldn't achieve it because I just haven't used this medium before but then I realized actually I want different I kind of want different depths different textures underneath so I decided at this point pick it up use a lollipop stick a wooden stick whatever you call them where you are and then I thought get my hands in because who doesn't love to just get their hands in and I realized I could get a really cool effect using my hands other than a stick or a spatula if that makes sense and here you just see me going for it this was after a solid 10 minutes I thought Hands, hands all day long do a much better job. Okay, I feel like that is about as blended as I'm going to get it. So it's a nice thin layer, I'd say no more than one mil deep. What we need to do now is go straight in with the crackle paste because as it says, this is a wet on wet product. So I'm not waiting. I'm going to go straight over the top with the crackle paste and then oh, I'm going to take it outside and spray paint the top. So you have to do it straight off the bat. There's no waiting in between each step. And uh, let's go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, this is nice. This is thinner. This is like a thick mousse. So with the crackle paste, you can spread it thinly or thickly up to one centimetre deep. The deeper you spread it, the deeper the cracks and the canyons are going to appear. So I'm kind of going to do a combination. I'm going to do maybe thinner in the middle, thicker on the outside and yeah just see see what happens but i'm gonna layer it on here and get it out oh this is fun this is this is fun do i use my hands can i use my hands maybe i'll use my hands i think hands sometimes are a bit easier and it's definitely helping me to be able to lift the board with one hand and work with the other so let's do that uh, are we ready Oh wow, <laughs> this is without doubt the messiest thing I've had a go at with yeah, for a long time. So I'm just going to get it spread across the whole board and then I'm going to think about where I want it thicker and where I want it thinner. So I'll actually put it back down. <laughs> I definitely want it thicker around the edges. I just want to see if that dark comes through. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I can see me doing this a lot.
the mess the mess is real and I love it okay we're nearly covered we're nearly covered <laughs> a bit more hands for this I would recommend definitely fun to get the hands in oh wow okay we are covered so what I really want to do is create some textural differences because the thicker you lay it on the deeper the cracks and the more canyons you're going to get but if it's thin in places then you'll just get a, a, a small crackle so I kind of want to thin it out I've got it really thick around the edges and I kind of want to thin it out in places so whether I do spirals or just lines through so maybe something like this just take a little bit off but then i'm i'm getting nervous now because you kind of you have to work fast but not like you know not incredibly fast maybe i'll do something like that i don't know i don't know will it work so i've created my own kind of look i'm dragging up the paint here so you do have to be careful i guess um i'm creating my own texture on here like waves And then maybe something along here. But I've definitely got it thicker around the edges because you can go up to a centimeter. Right, I'm not going to play around anymore. I'm going to get it out in the garden and actually spray paint. Right now, while it's wet to start that crackling process i was so lucky with the weather honestly we had rain for about four days at this point and i just woke up on this day and thought today's the day because we're going to get half an hour of sun and i knew that that was my only window to get outside without rain and i walked inside with this piece and it poured down so i think i just was oh the luck was on my side so this is what it looks like fully sprayed and here is a close up of this heavenly swamp of chocolate mousse there's no other way to describe it guys i promise i'm not going to bring every single video back to food but it's just oh it's pure luxury so the fun began i then had to just leave it sit and wait and check on it every single day and this was after 24 hours this was one day later i stopped using maths you'll find out soon <laughs> i ended up going on to two days three days because <laughs> yeah there's no point in using all that maths who needs maths <laughs> But yeah, absolutely. I got so excited the fact that I could see cracks after one day and this was after two days. And even if it didn't crack any more than this, I was like, wow, it's working. I did a little happy dance around my kitchen on day three, like it's working. And I'm seeing the different blues. I can see the dark blue around the edge and almost white in the middle. I'm loving it at this stage. I missed out a day or two, but yeah, this is day five and I was already in love with it at this point and i'm gonna come back on day seven okay day seven i think the cracking has completely finished i thought it finished yesterday but then i noticed another crack that wasn't there so close up absolutely a wow from me it did exactly what I was told it would do. So when you put it on really thin, you get these tiny cracks down here that you can see here. And you'll get the smaller cracks with a thinner paste. So if you then layer it on thick and chunky, you get these great big canyons and deep crevasses. And like, yeah, like here, they're so chunky. But you can definitely see a difference between putting it on thin and putting it on thick and I am obsessed I feel like I could have just done this for hours I feel like this is the kind of thing that I just love getting my hands in there getting stuck in getting dirty messy it's just I oh, just loved this so much like let me know what you think I am obsessed absolutely 
I'm just obsessed. I cannot wait to make another one. I've got some left. So my thoughts were um, yellows, oranges, reds, like the fiery pits of... <laughs> of a volcano and then maybe spray paint black over the top but let me know what colors you would do if you had this i am ju i'm just in love with it i right i really and truly am and it's gonna go so well in our living room our living room is like a really kind of like muted gray blue color and we've got some copper accents and i know this is gonna work so yeah i absolutely I just love it. I can't say anything more about it. It fascinates me. It, it's even every day coming in and seeing brand new cracks and just what? And when you think it can't crack anymore, it cracks more. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely, yeah, I'm not going to keep saying I love it because I love it so much. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and let me know what colors you would do. Part of me also thinks instead of copper, if I spray painted it, green that would look like little islands islands on the ocean but yeah i missed a trick i went copper green wouldn't have worked anyway in our living room but um yeah i'm just oh <laughs> i can't stop looking at it anyway i'm gonna stop talking now i hope you found this video fun if anything else it was brand new for me so i love trying brand new things and yeah, I've really enjoyed this one immensely. So I hope you have too. Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you have loved the video, please do hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put the details for Elichem down below where you can get hold of some of this incredible medium. And yeah, just create, go wild, have fun. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.